What's up, hand dudes? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, I just bought myself this uh, skill corded, not cordless, drill. And I picked this up because I have a number of cordless drills. And sometimes they're just not heavy duty enough, not enough power to kind of do what I want to do. You know, for 99% of the applications are pretty good. But I just wanted to try this one out. It's a 7 amp. So it's going to be a little bit more powerful than all the rest I have. And I was kind of intrigued by the 7 amp. Um, the style, you pistol grip here, but then you also kind of have a foregrip, you know, um, right there to kind of give you some extra leverage, especially as you're kind of drilling into things. You know, one of the things that I think people should be concerned about as I unbox this is, uh, you know, having this foregrip on the fore end of the, the drill like that, I think kind of makes it look like an assault drill. And so um, I hope, you know, that as you take a look at this, you may consider writing to your legislator and talking about kind of banning, you know, these types of drills because you know, it, can be, it can be dangerous, especially when loaded up with tactical features like the, the foregrip. Okay, off my soapbox on that. So there you go, skill saw. I like skill in the past. And here it is, here's the nefarious foregrip that comes packaged separately. Looks like you have to install. And here it is, man, hard plastic, hollowed, but you know, seems really robust, man. Um, honestly, I feel like I could beat someone up with this thing. It's kind of uh, immensely heavy. <laughs> to be really honest. Uh, ribbing here, so you should get a nice grip. It's slightly like textured and pebbled, so it's kind of got a little bit of like a slippery, maybe like a self-lubricating feel, but um, it's kind of like a heavy duty nylon. And then it looks like somehow, looks like you've got a, it's probably gonna be hard to see there, but there's a kind of a standard nut with a screw that looks like is pulling this down and cinching it down. So you're somehow, uh, you're gonna have to get in there and it looks like actually maybe you just do it with this yeah so looks like you can tighten it by twisting the bottom here or loosening it up and that will kind of cinch down this this clamp and clamp it down around the collar of the drill pull this off here and here's the drill itself Ooh, ooh racy so racy You've got your tool right there to tighten down the chuck. And then you've got a cord here. I don't know exactly how long this cord is because it's corded up, but I'd call that looks like it's gonna be about 10 feet. And pretty heavy duty, non-grounded plug on the end here. But here is the skill saw. So what we have is a um, pretty robust chuck up here. You obviously tighten down. And let's see, uh, it's a half inch heavy duty chuck so you can fit some pretty big bits in there okay got some knurling up here so you can also kind of hand tighten it and then this is all like a polyester plastic nylon polymer you have the reversing button here like a cross switch and then the trigger is pretty big looks like it would be big enough for two fingers are made for that and then everywhere that you have black right here wraps all the way around the front and you do have some texturing is a rubberized uh black plastic or, or rubber i mean it's it's grippy i feel like even with kind of wet or dirty hands that should be easy to grip and obviously you can see here my four fingers leave room for another finger. So if you have a really, really big hands, you should have no problems working on that. Well, it looks like you've got a, a reset, kind of a fuse down here. So anyway, there it is. I'm going to just assume it's going to work like you would expect it to work. But uh, I'm pretty excited about, you know, tricking this one out. I guess you could, depending on your, if you're right or left-handed, you could kind of put it one way or the other here um so let me see if i can put it on yeah looks like there's a couple notches on the collar here you can see them because then there's some some 
and the notches inside the foregrip, which kind of fit in there because I can kind of feel it lock into place a little bit and then tighten this down. So you don't need any tools, which is kind of cool. I guess it could come installed for you, but maybe you don't need it. But that is, that is pretty nice, man. Pretty nice right there. Seven amp skill corded drill in the tactical assault configuration here, but you don't necessarily need it. You could also probably angle this sucker up so you'd have a little bit of a 90 degree perpendicular angle on it too, but I'm gonna use it. Peter Von Panda, out.